Thanks for stopping by the Soul Beauty Chat. My name is Fatima and on this channel we talk about faith, soul, and beauty. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three reasons why you should be using a prayer journal. Okay, so what is a prayer journal? Well, if you're new around here, I have a few videos on prayer journaling. You can click that little I somewhere in the corner and watch those if you want to know more about what prayer journaling is. But it's basically just a basic journal that you use specifically for prayers. So I have been one of those people that have been journaling for as long as I can remember. Like I remember when I was a little girl, maybe like nine or 10, I would just love to write. I would love to write and to draw. That is just what I love to do as a child. And as I got older, I started to realize how therapeutic journaling actually was because as an introvert, I am not always the best at articulating how I feel. Sometimes I like to hold on to my emotions, internalize them, thumbs up this video if you're the same way, um, process them, think about them before I actually share with others or even just say out loud how I'm feeling about something. So prayer journaling is a way for me to basically deepen that, take it to the next level where I'm no longer just writing out all of my thoughts very sporadically. I'm more so doing it in an organized way with a method. Like I mentioned, if you aren't sure how or what that method is, click the little I and you can check it out. Um, but in this video, I'm going to share, share with you three reasons why you should be using a prayer journal. Number one, the first reason why you need to use a prayer journal is because it provides so much clarity and you are not the best at always saying how you feel. Prayer journaling allows you to clearly write how you feel. What makes it a prayer journal is the fact that you are doing it with the intention of communicating with God, right? So it is literally an expression. It's a communication, a conversation with God. It's not just you writing out your thoughts. It's more so with the intention that I am having an exchange right now with God. So sometimes when I am journaling, I will write out questions that I have for God. I will say, do you want me to do this? Do you need me to do this? Should I let go of that? And instead of just writing out long lists, I like to write out each question and actually wait and see if I feel anything tugging at my spirit. And sometimes I do. Sometimes I get very clear instruction video on how to hear from God. Check that out. I'll put that up there too. But it's not like a voice. It's just like a subtle feeling that I have that just pushes me in a certain direction. And sometimes I'm spot on and sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I, I mishear God and I, you know, I have to try what I think I heard and then go back. Leave a comment down below and ask your questions and I'll definitely explain that deeper. So that is the first reason because it provides clarity. Prayer journaling provides clarity. If you're feeling confused, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling unmotivated, if you're feeling lost, frustrated, lacking in purpose, all of those things, prayer journaling is a great way to help you get clarity. Number two, and probably the most important one, is that, is that it allows you to build a deeper relationship with God. And like I mentioned before, prayer journaling is all about the conversation and communication. It's not just one way, because when you think about a typical journal, right, you're just writing everything you feel or your thoughts. It's not like you ever really stop and try and like listen and dissect. It's more so just, this is how I feel. I'm dumping it down on paper. Prayer journaling is actually, you're dumping it out on paper, but with the intention to build with God. So a lot of times when I'm using my prayer journal, I will incorporate scripture. I will do a scripture study. Um, I'll use the SOAP method, which you can click the little I, check it out, where I basically break down the scripture to get a deeper understanding of it. And I try to apply it to my life. I try to really understand how that scripture is attainable to what it is that I'm going through. So I would recommend that if you, you know, if you're struggling to understand scripture, if you're struggling to really build your faith and to build a relationship with God, that's a great, simple, and easy way to start. All you need is a Bible and a notebook, honestly. Um, and if you have a phone, which I'm assuming you do if you're watching this video, you have the Bible because you can download the Bible app. The third reason why you should be using a prayer journal is because it is a great way to unwind. If you're ever just feeling stressed and overwhelmed by the day, or you're getting ready for bed. I actually have struggle with going to sleep at night. So what I like to do is journal at night. 
I light my candles, I put on my music, and usually it's just like spa music, meditation music, something that doesn't have lyrics because I just want my mind to flow. So yeah, those are the three reasons why you should be using a prayer journal. If you, like I said, if you are new to this whole prayer journaling thing, you don't really know how to do it, I have videos on it, so click the I, check out those links up above. And if you have any other questions, you can definitely leave them below. But I want to know from you, have you ever tried prayer journaling? And if so, what was your experience like? I can't wait to hear from you guys down in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you head over to my website, FatimaFarmer.com, and sign up for the free 7-day prayer journaling challenge. This challenge includes audio guides and prayers that you can download that will help you build your faith in a stronger relationship with God. I really hope that it's a blessing to you on your journey.